Good morning, astronomy students, and welcome to uh, the Equinox. Today is September 22nd, so if you don't know what the Equinox is, hopefully after today's lessons you will, uh, and uh, happy beginning of fall. So in our classical astronomy engagement, we are now officially on to week two. This means you should have finished everything from week one by this point. So what does that mean you should have done? You should have your catching up with a caveman quiz taken and submitted. If that's not done, uh, you need to get that done kind of instantly. Um, your shadow stick and medicine wheel assignment should also be submitted. Uh, this is posted to Flipgrid. Uh, there are several tutorials helping you on how to do it. If you haven't done it yet, uh, that's probably a home project. Um, you can do it at home, uh, but it should be done pretty soon. And thirdly, the altitude and azimuth uh, coordinate system, which we talked about last Wednesday in class, should also be done. If you're not done with it, um, you can watch the presentation and I can help you with it in office hours, uh, but really you need to be attending those Wednesday classes um, in order to get these assignments done. That brings us to week two, which is where we are right now. Uh, week two begins with the sun's motion in sparks. This is an assignment you should absolutely be able to get done in class today. Watch the tutorial link. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial. Here, I'll open it really quick. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial that guides you through the path of the sun and how the sun's path changes based on what time of year it is here in Sparks. Um, so you walk through, you click the play button, it gives you information, and you use that to fill out the worksheet associated with it. So that's the first tutorial you need to watch. Um, however, in order to finish the worksheet, you're also going to need to watch this presentation on the ecliptic. Once you finish that, you should be able to do the assignment in Teams. And so if you go into Teams and go to Assignments, uh, this is the Sun's Motion and Sparks assignment. And again, both of these things are also linked from here. So both the tutorial and the ecliptic uh, video are linked from here. And you can fill out most of the assignment. There is an expectation that you take a picture of the sun setting tonight. Um, so you're going to want to put that into the assignment as well. Um, but that shouldn't take too long. Once you have that done, you're good to go. So that's the sun's motion throughout the year from Sparks. The rest of it gets a little complicated. I'll post a video on some of this stuff uh, later on this week. But for now, watch the intro video here to latitude and longitude and complete the latitude and longitude assignment. That's also linked in Teams. Once you watch this video, you should be able to do that. So that gets you through the sun's motion in Sparks latitude and longitude, um, and the sun's path around the globe, I'll have a video up in the next couple of days to help you with that. The last thing you should be thinking about, especially for those of you at home, is beginning your sunset sunrise monitoring. Every four days, you're expected to take a picture of the sun as it sets or rises from the exact same spot. So you go to a spot, ideally by your medicine wheel, take a picture of the sun half up and half down, and then come back four days later and do the same thing. Each day, noting the date and the time that you do it. Um, you're eventually going to stitch that all together in a stop motion animation. But to begin with, just take those pictures. Um, so every, I would take your first picture today. Today being the equinox, it's a perfect day to start your process. Um, take a picture of the sun setting today. If you can't do that, sunrise tomorrow, sunset tomorrow, something like that's a good place to start. And then every four days after that throughout the engagement. Eventually, that's all going to get put in your sun monitoring topic to just do in your final portfolio. One final time, sunset sunrise monitoring tonight. Today in class, um, the sun's motion and sparks tutorial and presentation, and then complete the sun's motion and sparks, and move on from that to the um, latitude and longitude assignment. Watch the video and submit that. So by the end of the class today, you should have two assignments submitted and be ready to go on some other. Good luck. If you have questions, uh, shoot me an email or a text on Remind. Um, best of luck to you.